For many people today, the swastika provokes instant repulsion. Across much of the world, it is the ultimate banner of genocide and intolerance, a symbol that has become irreparably tarnished the moment it was co-opted by Hitler. But, however strong these associations, it is important to acknowledge that the swastika represented something entirely different for thousands of years before it was appropriation by the Nazi party, and that there are many who still consider it a sacred symbol. Today on Symbols, we will delve into the history of the swastika. Before it was adopted by the Nazis, the swastika had already been widely appropriated in the West. In fact, it had become something of a fad. Seized upon by the exotic motif that broadly donated good luck, the swastika even found its way into commercial design work for Coca-Cola in Carlsberg. While the Girls Club of America went as far as calling its magazine, Swastika. The swastika is more European in origin than most people realize. Archaeological finds have long demonstrated that the swastika is a very old symbol. But ancient examples are by no means limited to India. It was used by the ancient Greeks, the Celts, the Anglo-Saxons, and some of the oldest examples have been found in Eastern Europe from the Baltic to the Balkans. The word swastika comes from the Sanskrit svatika, which means good fortune or well-being. The motif, a hooked cross, appears in the Neolithic Vinca culture across southeastern Europe around 7,000 years ago. To this day, it is the sacred symbol of Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Odinism. It is a common sight on temples or houses in India or Indonesia. Swastikas also have an ancient history in Europe, appearing on artifacts from pre-Christian European cultures. The oldest known use of the swastika dates back to the end of the last ice age. A figurine carved with a recognizable swastika dating to 10,000 to 13,000 BCE was found in the Ukraine. How these ancient people interpreted the swastika is unknown, but in the Balkans the swastika has been used for at least the last 8,000 years. People in what's now Greece and Turkey also use it, the Celts and the Nordic people use it, and so did the Germanic peoples. The Phoenician used it as a symbol of the sun, the petroglyphs in Armenian have been found using swastikas. In Africa, pottery found in the region of Kush, which is now modern Sudan, show clear swastikas in their architecture. West African cultures have also used the symbols. Neolithic cultures in China use the swastika too, while predating the spread of Buddhism. In North America, the native peoples have long used the swastika-like symbols. To the Hopi people, it represents the wandering clans. To the Navajo, it is a whirling log used during healing ceremonies. In Jainism, it is known as the Seventh Tirthranka. All Jain temples and holy books must contain the swastika and ceremonies typically begin and end with the creating of the swastika mark several times with rice around the altar. The Jains use rice to make the swastika in front of the statues and then put an offering on it, usually a ripe or dried fruit, some kind of sweets, or a coin or a currency note. The four arms of the swastika symbolize the four places where the soul can be reborn in the cycle of birth and death. Svarga, which is heaven, Naraka, hell, Manyushi, which is humanity, or Turiyanka, as flora or fauna, before the soul attains Moshka, salvation, as in Siddha, having ended the cycle of birth and death and becoming omniscient. In Buddhism, the virgin stands square with four left-turning arms. While the swastika is taboo in the West, it has been part of the Japanese culture since the introduction of Buddhism around 1500 years ago. During the Meiji era, it was 1868 to 1912, the swastika was also commonly used that it was standardized as a temple marker on maps. The Buddhists also used the swastika to mark the beginning of Buddhist texts as they consider it a symbol of universal harmony, prosperity, polarity, good luck, abundance, dharma, fertility, long life, and eternity. In different parts of the world, the swastika is given a different meaning by the Buddhists. For instance, in Tibet, the swastika was a geographical representation of eternity. There are 65 auspicious symbols on the footprint of the Buddha and the swastika is considered as the first one. You can also find the swastika symbol imprinted on the body, palms, chest, or feet of Buddha. It is used to mark the beginning of sacred texts or as clothing decoration. The Buddhists in India consider swastika as the seal on Buddha's heart. Hindus consider the swastika as a symbol of auspiciousness prosperity, and good fortune, and is used as a mark of the opening pages of account books, puja, doors, offerings, and thresholds. 
It is believed to have the power to ward off misfortune and negative forces from its surroundings. The swastika is considered as Lord Ganesha by some sects in Hindu people and is worshipped to bring in good luck and fortune. Some people believe that the swastika's cross represents God in creation. They consider the four bent arms stand for the four human aims, righteousness, wealth, love, and liberation. In a persuasive emblem of Santana Dharma, the eternal truth, swastika also represents the world wheel, where the eternal life keeps from changing from one point to another around a fixed center, God. In Hinduism, the right hand clockwise swastika is one of the 108 symbols of the sun in the god Vishnu, while the left hand counterclockwise swastika represents night, goddess Kali, and magic. It is also regarded as a symbol of Muldara Chakra, the center of the consciousness at the base of the spine. On the walls of a Christian catacombs in Rome, the symbol of the swastika appears next to the word Zotico Zotico, which means life of life. It can also be found in the window openings of the mysterious Lalibela rock churches of Ethiopia and in various other churches around the world. In Nordic myths, Odin is represented passing through space as a whirling disc or swastika looking down through all the worlds. Hilda Ellis Davidson theorized that the swastika symbol was associated with Thor, possibly representing his Mjolnir. She said it was possible that it was also being connected to the Bronze Age sun cross. Davidson cites many examples of the swastika symbol from Anglo-Saxon graves of the pagan period, with particular prominence on cremation urns from the cemeteries in East Anglia. Some of the swastikas on the items on display at the Cambridge Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology are depicted with such care and art that, according to Davidson, it must have possessed special significance as a funerary symbol. The runic inscription on the 8th century Sobo sword has been taken as evidence of the swastika as a symbol of Thor in Norse paganism. The swastika shape, also called the flyloft, appears in various Germanic migration periods in Viking Age artifacts, such as the 3rd century Volros fibula, from Zeeland, Denmark, the Gothic spearhead from Brest Litvotsk, now known today as Belarus, the 9th century Snodvold stone from Ramsdo, Denmark, and numerous migration period bracketes drawn both left facing and right facing. The pagan Anglo Saxon ship burial at Sutton Hoe, England, contained numerous items bearing the swastika, now housed in the collection at the Cambridge Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology. The swastika is clearly marked on the hilt and sword belt found in Bifrons in Kent in a grave of about the 6th century. In Christianity, the swastika is used as a hook version of the Christian cross, the symbol of Christ's victory over death. Some Christian churches built in the Romanesque and Gothic eras are decorated with swastikas carrying over earlier Roman designs. Swastikas are prominently displayed in the mosaic in the St. Sophia Church in Kiev, Ukraine, dating from the 12th century. They also appear in the repeating ornamental motif at the tomb of the Basilica in St. Ambrose in Milan. Swastikas also appear in the art and architecture during the Renaissance and Baroque eras. The fresco, the School of Athens, shows an ornament made out of the swastikas, and the symbol can also be found in the facade of the Santa Maria della Salute, a Roman Catholic church, and minor basilica located in Punta del Dogna in Dorosdoro Sesestri in the city of Venice. The swastika also became important within the American Boy Scout movement as a symbol of nobility. Robert Bandon Powell, in his book What Scots Do in 1921, writes, As you know from the account of the swastika thanks badge, which I have given to you in the Scouting for Boys, the symbol was used in almost every part of the world in ancient day and therefore has various meanings given to it. Anyway, whatever their origin was, the swastika now stands for the badge of fellowship among scouts all over the world. And when anyone has done kindness to a scout, it is their privilege to present him or her with a token of their gratitude, which makes him sort of a member of the Brotherhood, and entitles him to the help of any other scout at any time in any place. Now the Nazi use of the swastika stems from the work of the 19th century German scholars translating old Indian texts, who noticed similarities between their own language and Sanskrit. They concluded that Indians and Germans must have had a shared ancestry and imagined a race of white godlike warriors called Aryans. This idea was seized upon by anti-Semitic nationalist groups who appropriated the swastika as an Aryan symbol to boost the sense of ancient lineage for the Germanic people. The black straight-armed hook cross on the distinctive white circle and a red background of the Nazi flag would become the most hated symbol in the 20th century, 
inextricably linked to the atrocities committed under the Third Reich. So, on August 7, 1920, at the Salzburg Congress, the red flag with a white circle and a black swastika became the official emblem of the Nazi party. Unfortunately, the swastika has been seen as a symbol of hate over the last century due to the Nazi party and the neo-Nazi groups. The swastika is an ancient symbol used in many cultures that meant many different things to many people. And the fact that it has been used as a symbol of hate is now heartbreaking. Thank you for joining us on Symbols today and I hope this brief information and history on the swastika helps you understand that it is not just hate, but many, many different things associated to this ancient ancient symbol.